So it's been a while since we've had an update on this one. Aiden Chevelle. Um, the LS is in it. The little small box Chevy's gone. Uh, Mon Monkey redid the exhaust on it. Looks amazing. Uh, we got some hooker headers on it. And I was very surprised at how well they fit. Because a lot of LS swap headers just, I mean, they just don't fit that great for whatever reason. But LS is in. Um, got it switched over to the manual steering rack. We showed that when we picked it up. Uh, the Pro Charger has been bolted on it. It's now not bolted on it. And Sean's over here with the straight edge and what have you. Oh, I'm just, don't let this, the look fool you. I'm still just gonna wing this deal. Well, yeah. I took a couple of measurements and I'm gonna go from there. We'll and then measure I'm gonna cut twice, this out. Cut yeah. three, four times, order another, order another plate. Okay, so I feel like that right there is gonna be pretty close. That will set it down in between the frame rails. We're gonna raise it up a half an inch higher than what it is right now. You're gonna raise the whole motor up a half inch. Mm -hmm. So you see it has motor mounts on it now. Um, kind of in the way of steering. So we're gonna put a motor plate on it. Called up Motion Raceworks. They got a bolt up uh, plate for the LS. And now we just cut it to fit. Set the motor where we want. Boom. First time it's not gonna work. Yeah? I don't think so. Hey, get this thing over to the side. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight with it. Get it over to the side like this. All we really need to do is put a strap around this right here, lift it up, pull them motor mounts off. Stretch this out. So since the motor plate is a quarter inch thick, the accessories that bolt to the motor plate to line up all the Pro Charger accessories, you gotta shave them down just a, you know, about a quarter inch or so, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, somewhere in there. So this, that's not the water pump. It's right here. This water pump is the one that was on the 55 whenever we first did it and had the Pro Charger. It also had the motor plate, so we had uh, Monkey mill off a quarter inch off the back side of the water pump and then we met our own alternator bracket on that car this one we're going to use the factory style corvette bracket that the pro charger stuff uses and we'll have to do the same thing to it maybe or maybe not it's yet to be determined because some of it or most of it bolts to the head to grab that out of your hand. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm all over the place.
many times I'm, I did this on the 55 the first time. Uh -huh. I messed it up, and we had to order two more. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Down to two already? No. Oh, is it done? It's flashing four. Oh, no, flashing four means it's toast. Oh, well, then this battery's junk. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Get them out? Yep. You want them to take the whole mount off, right? Off the motor and everything? You need a big battery? Where's my big dog at? What? Three fours? Yeah, three fours. What is? That's not bad. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get it, yeah. you know, too loose in there. So, shave just a little bit off of each side. We'll be all right. I mean, it's in there, right? Yeah. And then we'll just... Uh, Is that what the motor raised up? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we, we raised it up. Um, so then we'll just L bracket here and L bracket here. Put one bolt through this way, two bolts through this way. Yep. I mean, that should do it. But then we're going to have to cut around the head right here. Yes. Or we can just shave that whole bracket. But we for sure have to cut around this head because the this, the I'm not I'm not machining on that stuff. No. They, have, they did a lot of R&D I mean, to make sure. I understand sure. that I'm precise <laughs> with my, yeah, my yeah. cutting and my machining. Yeah. But we're not doing that. This is going to have to come back out so this won't be permanent, but put that in there. Did y'all go watch any street racing this weekend or no? No. No. Nothing going on or what? No. Nothing. Bunch of losers. There's all this. Oh, you know what that is? No. That's that shit we put in the radiators. Oh yeah, the, the sealant. Yep. Sure we'll put it in here too. Yep. Or there could be some of the concrete in the block. Probably the sealant though. Yeah. What are y'all struggling for? We are. Okay, well, not very fast. We're doing it at the hourly employee rate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got the union working. Mm -hmm. We're fine. Stay tight. Get them tight. There you go. Sucker down there now. Okay. All right, let me see. Um, I don't feel like it's all the way up against the block on this side. Ah, okay, that's what I meant. Torque see see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Something, something is in the oh, yeah. somewhere. It's probably all the washers right here. Oh, is there? See all, see all them washers? Oh yeah, for the uh, for print this? trigger. Yeah. So we can get that off for now. Off. Yep. Alan. 
And then I order, so our people at ICT make the uh, support brackets for this. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, it ain't even fucking close. For what? The support oh, brackets. Oh, for, for this side? Yeah. So I don't think it in. needs one on this side, does no, it? No, no, it's the other side. Okay, God I think damn. there's another hole. Yeah, I know. I think, what is that? What is that that says do not be in? I don't know. What is that? Um, surely it's a gasket or something, right? Oh, yeah, that's not even close. Uh, I think there's another hole right here that we just have to put a hole in this. Oh, to go to the block? And then there can be one here and one here, which is sufficient. Yeah. Uh, but the, the block deal needs to be on this side, right? Yes. Because Monkey actually made one for... <laughs> yes, he did. For the last he one. He spent a bunch of time when it turns out we could have just ordered one. Best bet. Bring three or four over here. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe it's a standard. Because I feel like... That should be it. It's playing the part. Yeah, I, I don't really think that it doesn't really. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Got Scared him. the shit out of me. Got him. I thought I was dead. It's like a tire going on the bead. Uh huh. Hold that. That's, that's precise right there, so don't lose any of those. Yep, that is the perfect amount of shims. All right, give me uh, the 10, and where's the other bolt? Yeah. Give me the 10. Oh, that's what you want the 10 Y'all just add it. Wait. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I think we're missing one. <laughs> you just took them out. There was, there was that all in there. Were you missing one? Oh, you got it. Now we're talking. I mean, I feel like my little quick measurement and cut is going to work, though. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. This bolts on here. Here, here, and here, correct? Correct. This is the flush head. Yes. I'm just gonna leave it. I'll put a shim behind it right here. That kinda sucks, I wish it was up just a little bit. And then I'll just drill a hole in those. And then we'll take a quarter off of the, the whole back side of this. And then I'm gonna cut it here, cut it here, yeah, that's just cut it here because all point. this, we don't need any of that. What's Briar giving the business? I, I don't for? know. So, I. No, that can't be right, can it? Doesn't the alternator get driven off the back pulley? I can't remember. I feel like it does. But maybe not. What would that matter? I just wondered. Oh. Because it's supposed to be like a standalone. I hope so. Built deal. I mean, kind of seems like that's what it would go off of. Yeah. Either that or we're not going to be able to use this because this is going to hit the coil anyway. That's what Dave was asking. I mean, that's kind of weird. I mean, I can do the same thing that I always do, but I don't like to. Oh, make it. You know, everybody out. says you can't run them things backwards. We haven't really had any problems with that, but if I can not make something i'll do it but yeah. everything that we have we turn the alternator backwards and run it right here which is not a bad idea we can make it really small and i could probably even use these bolts yeah i don't know we'll figure it out i i think it would look better with the alternator down here than oh for sure here. I may just do that and then use these. I mean, there's one that goes into the block. There's another one that goes on the block right here and then just swivel it off of one of them right here. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what you did on the 55, right? Like you made your it own. Is. Yeah. And on the donk. And on the donk, yeah. Anything with motor plates, I've done that before. I don't even remember. We did it a long time ago and it worked. Yeah. And so we just, hey, shut up. All right, we're back here on Aiden Chevelle again, kind of jumping around in between projects and 
everything as we get parts in and time to work on each individual project. So we, well, we didn't, but Monkey got the motor plate all cut down good and installed permanently for this deal. Made some brackets to uh, weld to the frame here and then bolted onto those brackets, the motors in. Uh, Pro chargers bolted back on it, and now we're about to work on the fuel system. So, uh, called our buddies over at Red Horse, had a big long Christmas list of stuff for Aiden, and now we're about to put it all together. So, I've been working on it just a little bit here, get all these empty packages out. A little bit of everything, um, fittings for the water system, you know, for the uh, uh, intercooler and whatnot. This dash six line will be for the transmission cooler. Dash 10 here for the feed and the return. And then just a bunch of miscellaneous fittings to make it all work. So we're gonna use their uh, crimp fittings. Uh, same thing we use on the race car, basically. Uh, we've got the new crimp machine over here. Well, not new, we've had it for about a year now, but Monkey got it all set up for us. So now he's gonna teach us how to use it. And we're gonna start crimping fittings and making fuel lines and transmission lines and all that stuff so about to make some headway here uh, I had this motion racework steam vent kit it's actually for an LSA blower setup um, they make a better setup for this intake so I'm gonna give them a call tomorrow it's it's New Year's Day they're not open I don't think so I'll call them tomorrow and get the steam vent kit that this thing actually needs and make it look a little better in here so that is Got air motor regulator mounted back here. That sensor is for fuel pressure, of course. We've got the uh, Detroit Sweet Motor CC injectors in it. Uh, this thing's come along. In all honesty, if we had two or three solid days to work on this deal, we could probably fire it up. But like I said, we're jumping around in between projects here and there as we can, so that probably won't happen. Uh, we still got to order parts so Monkey can finish the steering. So. That's where we are. Uh, once we start crimping fittings, we'll, we'll show you what we mean by crimp fittings if you don't already know. And then uh, we'll start putting this fuel system together. So we got water system things happening over here. Monkey's having a deal on it that's usually not a good sign. Just needs a slight adjustment. Um, and then showed you earlier, we were working on the uh, fuel system uh, with the new Red Horse performance fittings and hose monkey come over here so i decided to use a crimp machine fuel system's done all we got to do is uh tie the filter in we don't have the fittings for it so we'll have to figure that out oh, that's not all. yeah do that side and then essentially yep pull yeah, our, stretch it yeah stretch it stretch that metal Get the pipe stretcher it may need to be turned just a smidgen more We'll take yeah. this side off here. Hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What so, is this nut for? It's getting really close to the intake corner. That's for the fuel rail. Don't lose that. That's for the fuel rail. And that's where that other that bolt you found earlier went to. Fuel rail bolt. Ooh. Just slight adjustments. Don't. I guess that's. You get what you pay for, huh? I don't know. I should have. Should have went ahead and called motion. Sorry, Doug. Great. Now Doug's gonna make a video of why to buy his and not. Uh, I mean, this is the video right here. <laughs> This is why you don't buy the $40 one off eBay, folks. Son of a I promise you the Motion Race Works doesn't require all this mess. Oh, you still didn't even get that on there? Damn. So, and then this thing really needs to be as close to the valley as possible so the intake will fit on. Is the intake that deep? Yeah. Oh. Big old plenum. That should be half inch, right? Big old Texas Speed intake. It's a 916th. Texas Speed got all the intake volume. Yes. Like a glove. How's boosting this thing like a guy? 
like 17. Oh, okay. It was, it was aggressive. So if you guys will remember Aaron's old Cadillac, we actually, or Sean actually sold it to a buddy of ours, uh, Jeremy, one of the guys that we played golf with and his wife, it's her car. And unfortunately, <clears throat> the motor is no more. So it is hard. It, uh, they got it all tore apart over here. We really don't know what caused what, but it needs a rebuild. So that's why it's. If this happened or this happened or this happened or this happened or this happened first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it, it's, there's a lot of stuff messed up. But it, it had happened. So it's going to need a rebuild. But it's it's good parts uh yeah. the heads have had a lot of work those heads are those. nice i'd like to know who did those those heads. are nice heads uh the the, the blower, blower it's uh, fully done it by joker done by joker yeah because remember it was purple and, it's like his and green whenever, <laughs> yeah. we bought, whenever we bought the car yeah it's like his stage five max port from back in the day it was it was a nice piece so when when i got this car it had 20 21 thousand Some, miles something, on like it, something like something that something like that um and it had a, a little tick to it when we got it. Yep. Like within the first month or so that we got this car. Something like we that. We tore the heads off of it and put lifters in it. And then we never had any other issues with that. But if you remember, the thing never had good oil. It was 40 all the time. Pretty much. Almost it like that sensor wasn't even working. <laughs> yes. It didn't matter if it was cold idle, hot idle, uh, 90. 110 down the highway yeah 40 yeah is what it had and this is probably why it's uh the oil pump is pretty yeah the oil up. pump is all all gouged up Ooh, that uh, still feels i'd, I'd reuse that that's one. a good point why is there two why is there two <laughs> why is there two, why is there two? this one is, this is one this, i would not use this one is it a is this, is this a dual one? cam ls i don't understand why there's two i don't either but this Confused. is a good one um yeah this this was a fun car this was a fun road trip car you could blast 100 down the highway and yeah it just rode smooth something had happened to the front up here something a little something something it's all they give it a little all nicked up yeah it's over on that side a little bit yeah right? so so you have been messing with this new red horse performance fittings and hose what do you yeah, think yeah and and fittings and hoses i don't mind making them but whenever I get done, my fingers always hurt. And, and obviously our uh, selection of cutters is not the best. No, we don't need some. So we cut this with two or three different things. I mean, some of them look like I cut it with a claw hammer. <laughs> and it still went on real nice. You don't have to worry really about the fittings. I don't know. I don't want to sound like an infomercial. I like it's, it. It's, it's, it's good, good stuff. stuff, though. It's good stuff. It seems like it's built well. Here, hang like on. I don't want to seem like an infomercial, <laughs> but it was cold in the shop. Yeah. Hey, there was a couple of. of hey, beans. look, man. Some of our people know us. They they know what to send in, us in the box. Yeah. I put it on. I'm freezing. Yeah. Yeah. They they know us. They know what to send. us in all black shirts, black beanies. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yes, it is nice stuff. I I mentioned whenever I first took stuff out of the box, I I thought it was nice stuff. So. Yeah. Um, Monkey showed you how to use the crimper. Well, he showed me what the crimp looked like when he was done. <laughs> yeah, and what to set it on to do uh, a tin. Oh, perfect. You know, so perfect. like, so when we first got our crimper when we were at Midwest, a monkey wrote everything down. And whenever you write everything down, you just look at the piece of paper and know if I'm crimping a dash six, this is what it needs to crimp to. Yep. And so that's what we're slowly having to do here. We just got our crimper and we don't have all that information. Anymore. We don't have that cheat sheet. I know. We had a really nice cheat sheet over there. Yeah. wonder if uh, next time we go to Gerald's, maybe he can give us his cheat sheet oh surely he has a cheat sheet oh right? yeah because he has he he's got a, he's got that same crimper except it says brown and miller on it all the crimpers are the same you yeah, know they all Every come from the same place ours says earl's on it Yep, earl <laughs> thanks holly <laughs> yeah so yep. but now that we have our own we can make our own stuff it, it makes things a lot easier the uh, the crimp poses it's nice yes it uh I was I was kind of getting excited to start making some hoses today, and then it was literally the easiest fuel system I've ever made. Ten feed, ten return, yep. like eight crimps, and it was done. Yeah, all the same size. Didn't have to change the machine at all. 
makes it nice. Yeah. So we got the, the harness laid out here. Um, honestly, we can figure out where we want to cut a hole while the intake is off. Probably just go right through there. Right behind it. Just yep, like the right 55 behind the was. intake. The and only thing uh, that'll be different between this and the 55 is this one right here. It went to the back because the battery was in the back. So are we going to relocate his or is it going to stay up front? It, it probably needs to be in the back. Yeah. I would just as soon put it in the back on the opposite side of the water box Yeah. and then call it good. And okay. then we can put a, a cut off back there and all that. Yep. It's probably what we need to do. Yep. I mean, it, it also helps with the weight bias. Because we'll put an excess battery in that, and the, they're not—they're not the lightest. What are they? Thirty-two pounds? They're—they're they're heavy. That one's. Oh man, that's 50. more than—that's more than thirty-two pounds. Yeah. How much is that monkey? Fifty. Thirty-two. Yeah. Are they? I don't know. They might be. I don't know. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Are you grabbing their big battery? No. The, no. Big, the big battery's like sixty something. I think. They're built for hey. performance. <laughs> can't say that. You can't. No, 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 no. no. You gotta plow a hole in that firewall. We have first. to cut a hole right in that firewall before that goes on there. <laughs> Fucking digging. And then after that, you guys can finish up the, the fuel system, put the rails on. Oh man, that thing fit like a glove, huh? Oh yeah, it's almost like it's made for it. Is it gonna leak, guys? No. Monkey put that together, it ain't leaking. Oh, okay. It could possibly leak. Couple you know places. why, though? It won't leak because they're not tight enough. It'll leak because they crack. <laughs> they because split open because it's too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Sean how he knows. Even yeah, even months later down the road, we go, man, monkey must have tightened that. Uh huh. All right, Aiden, get inside the car. Okay. Don't hit the brakes, please. Okay. Why? You know, what? well, because he took the rear end out of it. Oh. And so, okay. He took the rear end out of it right after we bled these brakes. Nice. Oh yeah. So he got That's the old rear end out. Oh. Um. So this is the one that we put in the car a couple of years ago. It wasn't really built for what we're gonna do with this car. They, Quick Performance has actually been begging us for a couple years now to not use this for what we were doing. So uh, they built this new bad boy. It's their Profab housing. This one's got 40 spline axles in it, back brace, solid bushings in the top of the housing. It's, it's nice. So we'll just take this one, put it in Sean's brother's car. Look back here. Look right here. Ooh, it sounds like there's absolutely nothing back there. I really want to go here though. Oh, I know, there, yeah. there's all my tools. Yeah. Um, man, if we could go in here it would probably be even better. I'm afraid it would hit the intake right here. Maybe set it on there and take a look at it and just make sure. I'll just go right in the middle. That'll work. Um, Dalton, do me a favor. Let's get this off of here so I don't break this. Man, this is gonna be nice. Is that the one you was looking for? It's the one we were looking for. Could have welded it a little straighter. I'm sure that that was the one that was on it, right? Before? Yes. Oh, no. That's the one Don put on there. Okay, I didn't know if that was the one that was on the 55. What size hole does that need to be there? Oh, man. Whatever this is, two and a half inch, I think. Two and a half inch. I mean, what is that? Three? That's got to be a three, right? Oh. That's two and a half right there. Is it right? Here, two and a half. I can't see. It yeah. does? Yep. Oh, it does. Yep. Let me see if I can use this, though. I mean, is that two and a half, monkey? Or does that need the three? No, definitely. I would say that size. Okay. Ah. Uh, where are you? Oh, yeah, you're way taller than me. You're looking at a different angle. <laughs> I think it's smaller than this. Well, let's measure it. Yep, measure okay, it. I'll try to pull this thing apart. Oh, yeah, you know that don't work. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's at least got enough charge for once. Mm -hmm. Two I mean, and an eighth? Two and a quarter, two and an eighth? Two and an eighth would be solid. What do we got? I'm glad, I'm glad y'all are here to shove that through. I mean, you could probably use a two inch and by the time that Waller's out while it's going through, probably be fine. Okay. If not, this is a two and a quarter. 
Oh, that'll work. That's a two inch. Use that two Is and a quarter. Is there anything on it? Ooh. All right. Somebody welded that one on. It's stripped at one point. <laughs> I think I remember doing that. Man, look at this one. Watch. That one looks nice. That thing's nice. Man. Whose is that? <laughs> I hate this shit. Is that what size we need right there? Um, I don't know. I mean, this, this looks like it's gone through a firewall a couple times. This one's a little bit big, but it's not horrible. You can take, you can take the, what's that? Where's that one at? Eighth inch. You're almost. Excuse me not having the Allen wrenches in the out in the wrench drawer. Did you boom? Okay, then I won't take this one out. Ooh, that's a big guy. Well, you know, sometimes we're limited. Today's one of those days. Who cleaned up over here last? Nobody. I went and bought me some tin snips the other day. And I didn't know if I needed the straight or the left turns or the right turns. You so gotta have I just all bought them. all three oh, of them. No. Yeah, I was about to say. I think they That's come with a kit, don't they? Look, we got uh, The Ace Let's Hardware see. I was at did not, but they had all three of them that you could buy separately. Okay, I'm gonna send you this right here that Monkey sent me earlier. Oh, man. Oh, for the hose cutter? Yes. Okay. They're nice. We're not gonna tell Wade, but they're vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> Wade, Wade will get mad. We'll put, hey, Wade, send us a, a RPS sticker and we'll, we'll put it on there. All right, I'm gonna oh, go over here and get this good drill. Man. I know, you showed me that good drill today, and that's probably one of the best things that I ever upgraded. Yeah. Was that? So the DeWalt, or even the little snap-on, it's just not enough to prime the oil pump. It shuts it off a, a lot. Load. So. Um, but I had, uh, I had the original non-brushless one, and you know, I sent it back once a year, every year. Yeah. And then finally they re released that one, so I traded up. Oh, trade it up. I'm probably still it's going to roll under the car. <laughs> but man, I've five inch holes, four inch holes, four holes, stainless. all the holes. Okay, is there anything back there? Amy? Do you feel this indention right above the where the the firewall? Yeah, I mean, it looks like. <laughs> What's it look like? Looks like there's a lot of stuff that's going to be like like. Oh, what kind of stuff though? Like a vent. A vent? For like a heater. Oh, you don't even need that. This car's not equipped with a heater anymore. Uh-uh. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to come through. You're going to have to move whatever's in the way, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep. I'm going to angle down just a little bit. Yep. See that? Nope. That guy's You thin. good? <laughs> no, I, I almost was not. Look, it cut through that quick. God dang. Just on that top side though. Now I'm scared. That guy's for real. I bet you're right. Like whenever you just went through it, it pressed right on that hood. Okay, well, get it out of there. Man, that deal was about, real. That about got you. I know it almost broke my wrist. Good thing I got a strong <laughs> wrist <laughs> and a weak hand because my hand let it go. <laughs> Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It tried to twist this thing right out of it. Say hi to Jake. What's up, Jake? He loves he loves the camera. <laughs> as soon as the camera comes on, Jake does. He was hiding over there behind the golf cart just a little, little bit ago. Wired the 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 donk. Yep. For, uh, you know, wired that gas gauge right on right. up backwards. Yeah. I know, it's still backwards. <laughs> sitting out in that trailer. I can't believe he hadn't fixed that. I can't believe we've still got that thing sitting out in that trailer. I didn't know it was here. It is. It's still just sitting out in that trailer. Yep. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Man, we don't know how to take care of shit. Y'all got that out yet? Can't all the heater stuff come out? It can't all the heater stuff can come out, right? Yeah, I don't really want the whole heater box to come out because then and we gotta fill that hole. 
which we need to do anyways, honestly. Yeah. It looks like it's all in one. Like it's all one. Well, then get the whole heater out of there. Because, I, I mean, even at this point, it's gonna yeah. take air in. So we'll just cover this little patch up and then cover this little patch up and be good. But before that comes out, you guys need to pull this off, Dalton, because you ain't getting those through that hole. You know what I mean? So these need to come off and then cut those out. Um, honestly, I don't even know if there's any more bolts. It should just pull out of there. Do what now? Oh, I see. Really? What'd you say? What, like this? This one? This one? Whatever this is, I don't really know. These have to come off. Yeah, I don't know. Because that right there is not going to go through there. Whatever we took. So, Dalton, I'm guessing that, that, that should be it. And then this should push from this side out. Whenever we pull the And it's probably like a 3 8 What, Aiden? When we pulled the 350 out of this car, we got mad. Trying to pull this off and we just cut it. Because it just would not come off. All right, well. Just wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, just couldn't. These need to come off and then slit it. Yes. I mean, hole right there, huh? Yeah. Yup. I should mean, give honestly, us plenty of room for activities and whatnot. What you do with, I mean, you're going to need to probably mount all the relays and all that stuff where that heater box is, anyways. Uh, kind of to get it out of the way. Yeah. So usually, yes, that, they're either there, or over behind the cluster, or whatever. What you doing? Uh, I was gonna. I don't know. Let me know. I would just get these off of here and then cut it with a razor blade. See that one? That's not off. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The Aiden. What? You can't just try it? Mm -mm. No, because it's not going to work. But we can't get this off if it's snapped off. Give me a screwdriver. How are these heads so clean? We ran this motor. Monkey go. He's on the phone outside. Walking somebody through a problem. <laughs> yep. His phone rings nonstop and he has to tell people advice. Yep. And he always answers. <laughs> Not me. Mm -mm. I'll look at it and go, man, this guy wants something. Uh, <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Did you give him some good advice? All the advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were talking about. We said your phone rings nonstop and you got to give people advice. advice. What are you gonna do? How does this work? How does you this should work? have carry a stopwatch around with you. As soon as you fucking yeah. boop, you click, yep. and then that's your time. That's your right time. There. Insert card number. <laughs> yep. Insert yep. card number here. <laughs> See, look at that. I got that one out. This one comes out, and then look. There's just two more, right? Uh, I th I really think there's just one more. Is it up top? This right here oh, is yeah. gonna have to be cut off because I can spin the whole bolt. It's the one up top. Probably not attached to anything. Yeah, it's the one up top. You can't figure out how to. What do mean, yeah. There. You can't get to it? <laughs> what had happened was... In there. <laughs> you don't want to go the rest of the way through all that? Well, is there a heater box in the way? There is. Nice. That's why we're trying to get all this out. And then we'll just, we'll just have to put something here and something here. Duct tape. Which, <laughs> that's probably where all of the relays and shit needs to go anyways. So. Let's see, let's see. Did you find it yet? Mm. Off the front. Yeah. Aiden's never going to be able to tell Dalton his is in a streetcar again. Nope, because they're the same. That's right. Because <laughs> they're the same. <laughs> he, said, he said, I'm never going to use this heater anyways. I said, you're not going to drive this thing whenever it's cold? He's like, no, I'm not going to. I'm said not going to race before, this in the winter. I said, how many races have we got into whenever it's cold outside? All of them. I said, with with these kind of cars, that's. Yeah, that's what we race these cars with. It's like, I'm not going to drive in the rain. I said, yep, until you're on a daily cruise and it starts raining on you. Well, we're not making it to where you can't put windshield wiper back on. But 
I ain't never really worried about much of wipers. Just gonna have to put, just gonna put, put a couple of shoelaces on those wipers okay. so you can drag them side to side. How can you see? Turn the windshield wipers on. I'm like, Couldn't I see anyways. See yeah. <laughs> I don't need to see. You're the one who thought this was a good idea without my glasses. Yep. I can probably unscrew this one from here. With a hammer? <laughs> Aiden, unscrew it with a hammer. That, uh, cut off over there and an board, and I'll cut this one off. <laughs> and then I could probably cut this one off and just tap it out. A little tap tap a -roo. And He hasn't tried to do any kind of weight reduction on this. Look at all this still in there. Uh -huh. oh, that's a fire hazard. Yep. Oh, that's, that's, why why it's, that's why it's on the other side of the fire wall. <laughs> yeah. Man, 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 man. You should see my truck right now. Oh, God. I know, I was actually thinking about your truck earlier. It's like, man, surely it's got to be getting pretty far apart. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. He said his truck is pretty far apart. Yeah, I know. And mine, I need to do something. I actually need to order the cam and cam and lifters and head studs. There's cam over there. You can use. That's close to the same. <laughs> it's a pretty good cam. Just take your little whiz wheel to it and smooth yeah. all that out. Yeah. Just make the other lobes match. Yeah. Didn't need that 120 plus five duration anyway. It was already out. Okay. Jeremy got it out the other night. The hundred footer. The hundred footer. Plug in the heater to warm up the burrito. He had a burrito sitting on the, on the stool in front of the heater for hours the other night. And he's like, oh, it's getting warm, but I'm not hungry yet. So we moved it away. And then whenever we were about to leave, he's like, oh, it must have cooled down too much. Some sort of punch. You want some safety glasses? No, nah, safety, safety squints. Squint. Yep, that's <clears> it. <throat> Ooh, look this at thing that. In. Look at that. Oh yeah, that little guy's that gonna be a problem. Right there. It was on our way to get the motor back that far. <laughs> nice. Where's that guy at? Right here. Can you yeah. see? That's <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Drill the hole right next to it. <laughs> and two, two threads are holding on, aren't they? There it is. There you go. Okay. Did you literally punch a hole through the firewall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. so hang on, hang on. Is there another one holding it somewhere? <laughs> Should be it. Rip her out of there. Rip her on out. Eve. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. Oh. Something in there. Something's connected to this stuff. Probably a lot of zip ties in there with random things on them. I mean, I don't know that we need any of that stuff. I think it's all for the old nitrous stuff. Tell me we don't need this good oil, oil pressure. pressure gauge. No, we're not going to oh, use that. Damn it. Didn't you have a car one time that that came off inside and oh, went? I believe it. Yeah, probably. Wasn't it one of, one of your 69s? I don't know. I used to run those all the time. Sounds aggressive. That's the type of stuff that Dave would look at me and go, 
that and wire nuts on all my wiring. You know, I wish we had pictures of the OG back in the day, oh, the man. wiring. Remember whenever it kept cutting out? I don't, this was before you. Yeah. It was cutting out real bad. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. And so Dave went with me for a ride and he just looked around while it was cutting out. Hey, I'm, I'm sticking it. We're making a pass down Reno uh, yeah. outside of Chuck's house. And the whole time Dave's in there just moving wires around and it was the MSD box. Man. He found it sparking off of everything in there. Shortly after that, Dave rewired the whole thing. <laughs> he pulled off, I don't know, there was like 17 wire nuts in the whole car. Yeah. And he made sure that I saw that they were in there. I go, I know that it's in there. I put them on. Yep. I need those back. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what did you want me to do? I got a ceiling fan to wire up, man. <laughs> what did you want me to do? It, it holds the wires together, plus it insulates them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's a double win right there. Just a little bit. Pull that cable out. It'll pop out. Yeah, it's it's out. No, like this in this. Oh side. man, there's a lot of shit on that thing. Grab that. Thing. One cable. It's like everything else is vacuum isn't it? Yeah. Weird. I cut all of that from this. One bundle. Is that it? What else is connected? Should have scales over here. Yep. Mine. See how much this bad boy? This bad boy is going to weigh less than any car that I have. Shh. Is it heavy? No. He's been hitting the weights though. Try 20 pounds, man. You know what I? Oh. Well, that's not. That's pretty heavy. Here you go, son. You know, 32 pound battery. There. I mean, that's 10, 25, 15? 30 pounds. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Go, go. Turn one of the wireless skills oh, on. Man. Big that was a big ass hole. Right there. Could have just ran the wires right through that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could, I could have thrown them through that from here. Scales coming in handy. Five. Five. And zero it. Zero. Yeah. You know, zero. Zero. Now set it on there. Seventeen pounds. That don't seem right. Can you zero it. Yeah, here. Hang on. Zero it. Zero? Zero. Alright, see you later. There's weight. There's another scale on. Is there? Yeah. No. Oh, oh what? Zero it again. Zero? Zero. This way. Seventeen pounds. Seventeen pounds. Oh, that's it? Yeah. he can get in there and get all that the rest of that insulation and everything out because it's behind it all it's all the way over there Ugh. luckily the driver's seat's already out you can literally just lay in there yep um it well, it's like shoving it through right mm -hmm. it's probably easier to shove yeah yeah the stuff that needs to come out here oh i was going to say the other end oh okay but maybe not oh this comes out huh yeah Oh yeah. Well, I just this point out. Shit, I know. We're gonna run a new TPS wire. Ready. Hmm. That's the transmission wire right there. Mm-hmm. But oh, it, yeah. it went through the rusted out floorboard in the 55, so. Um, we'll, we'll cut a hole underneath the, the yeah or or we can unpin it and I can just rewire it here Aiden all of this goes through all that okay. 
Ooh, watch that. Through that hole. Can yep. we eat? Where is the? Oh, the transmission clicks in here, don't it? Yeah. I remember now. I remember. It would be nice if we could bring it back out, that plug though, and just run it down the tunnel. Hey, what is that? You could leave that. Let's get this off of it. They just cut that out. You got a hole that big in your floorboard? You can go get the 10 steps and pull this. Like, man, this is a good Don't cut that. Yeah, and there wasn't a lot of rust there. Uh -uh. Well, <laughs> that that got redone whenever, you know, the crash and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Good strong ass floor. Yeah, that's a 55 floor right there. Mm -hmm. So do we, I mean, do we want to try to keep this out? I, I think so. Right Just, now? uh. Or do we unpin it? It's, it's yeah, plugged in yeah. Right, here, right? Well, it's plugged into both of them. What is this? Try and plug this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was about to say. It's got to be close enough that you can't give up. Oh, hang on. Wait. Hang on. Nailed it. Like okay, a glove. Hang on. Got one more to do that same deal to. There we go. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Seems excessive. That's, that's a lot. lot. That's definitely a lot. Oh, those. So they just make jumpers for the peak and holds instead of having peak and holds? Yep. Man, that's convenient. Nice. One more. That's it. Home run. Pull. Okay, hang on. See this? It's random black yeah. wire. Random black wire, pull it. That one. Yeah, it just goes all the way to the back of the car. Okay. Man, look at that. That's it. Golden. Boom. Whew, I don't know. We should have went bigger. <laughs> <laughs> we, I feel like we should have went bigger. That might go, but yeah, I, my back is already tired of bending over. The, the two and a quarter is a little loose once it's installed, but it goes in a lot easier. Yeah. And it still seals up because the outside's so big. Like Mo a glove. Monkey got them strong fingers though. Uh -huh. So now what you can do, you them can pull. Fingers yeah, too. you can pull this harness through to here. That way, there's not so much excess out here. Yup. All right, let's do that. Yes. It's gonna pull that whole boot through. I know. <laughs> <laughs> pull. Oh yeah. Keep going. Keep going. It's like Ace Ventura. Does it look Whoa. like Ace Ventura coming out of the back yeah. of the Rhino back there? That should be it, Aiden. All right, now we're gonna leave. You hook all these up. Yep, it's dummy proof. And Plug then, and play. And then put the intake over the top. Except for the one that says we're fixed. Make sure you fix that one. Yeah, you gotta fix that one. And all these. You know, nope, I don't think we have to. I think we just nip those things shorter and call it good. Throttle body? TPS. Yeah, so it goes to the throttle body? Mm-hmm. And fuel I was just playing. I don't have to do that. I would put this back on though. That way, nothing gets down in there. And you don't forget it. And then uh, I'd probably just set the intake on it. And then next time, we can uh, plug all those in. Hopefully, we'll have the stuff to be able to put the tank in it. And then literally, we can fire it up. Next weekend, cruising it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, next weekend we fired up. I think you're gonna be here. <sighs> Late next weekend. <laughs> you remember that five? Yeah, at least on about. Sunday we can come out here and get it put together. That yeah. way, the next weekend, ready for fire up. Mm -hmm. Only a year and a half to make it. That's a lot less Who's time. Whose fault is that? 
Ooh. No, I was making a joke. I was saying it's like Ooh. a year, okay. year and a half less than what it actually is. Joke's on you. Yeah. Shit, my truck's it's been, been sitting How many years has it been? Probably three years. It has not, Aiden. Since I pulled this dill out, my sock. You were 14 three years ago. Damn, you were out there cruising. Remember, you got this car when you was 14. He math like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, ish. Ish. Everything is ish. Yeah. Yep. Here, I'll tell you exactly. It has been a little bit, but. Like a year, years. year and a half tops. It's been a year and a half. No, it's been. No. Don Dahl had it for nine months. Yeah, at the beginning of last year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. COVID math's fucked up. <laughs> Lose a couple years in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the exact day the motor came out was August 1st, 2022. Oh, damn. Now you just lost even yeah, more than Yeah, that. you did, because it hasn't <laughs> even been a year and a half. <laughs> that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Remember how it used to sound? Mm. It used to sound, sound good. good. It ain't gonna sound like that no more. Nope. It's all That's smooth good. and dump truckish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That blower can just Can't ready. Spray it or what? Um, if you want, you could do things like uh, these literally say what they go to on them. Yep, those are coils. And then just, well, I mean, you got to figure out which one they are. It'll say Coil right seven. here. What's that say? Seven? seven? Is that a seven? Yep. <laughs> so boom. <laughs> and then boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And then done. You can do the same thing oh, over there. Yep. And then you can pull apart the injectors. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, that's what I'm saying is it's really simple. It's written. Everything is written. And it crank. tells you where to crank. Crank. Okay, then. So then that goes obviously right here yep. cam and crank and then there's going to be one that says cam mm -hmm. it's it's above the starter and then no. once that's uh, that's crank sensors above the starter the cam will be in the front and the crank sensor will go down to the crank trigger which one's the which one's the one above the starter that's the crank trigger they or the crank sensor oh we're not using that one now mm -hmm. oh well then he can put the starter on it yeah air temp air temp's the one is the sensor in front of your intake that you need, still need to pull out and seal up h2o also known as water. Yep. So, uh, it was over here on this this motor, wasn't it? Yes, it's yeah, in the back right there. Right there. Ooh. Like, literally, you just plug all that stuff in. Out of the way. And then, well, you get down to it, and there's nothing left. It's ready to fire up. Yep. I mean, that's pretty much how it works. And then we hook a battery up to it, you're done. Find the oil, boom. Right there. You know, the oil and the fuel and will both he, be right the, there the, together. The tough part is going to be running everything nice and neat underneath here. The stuff that stays underneath here, you could actually zip tie to these. And then when you set the intake on, it won't be a big deal. Yeah. So and what so, happens if that deal has to come back off? Which one? What? Like this whole deal. If that has to, I mean, that should uh, never have to come off. Why, why is that going to come off? If that leaks. comes off. In case it leaks, huh? Maybe it'll leak. Stuff could leak. It better not. Ooh. I didn't do it, shit. Don't be staring at me like that. Mm -hmm. Nope. I just bent the lines a bunch. Nailed it. Yep. So are we just gonna do like aluminum plates from the backside, bolted in, with some Probably. silicone on it, and Probably. That's what I just did what are those on my three truck. Bolts right there. <laughs> what? What are those three bolts? Um. You're almost there, man. And we got the steering rod. This thing will be fucking mint in no time. What day this week do you not have basketball or whatever? Like, what day after school this week can you be here to work on this? Rough. We have school, we have no school Friday. Oh, we're damn. probably gonna be going anyways. <laughs> Why you don't have school Friday? It's just no school Friday. I think it's Martin Luther King Day. Break from winter Martin break. Martin Luther King. What? Break from winter break. Mm, like, yeah. Oh, shit, we've yeah. been back for too long. They've only went to school one day. So Kendall, she went Friday. Friday. That's it. Like what in? Start back on Friday. Yeah, we don't want to get you too, yeah. too worked up over the school deal. We'll let you off for another two days. Um, I mean, and there's lots of stuff that you can clean up. You can finish pulling out all the stuff on the inside from here over. Um, look, you can get this out of there. Your gauge pods down there on the bottom? You can pull all them gauge pods out. We won't need any of those. Because the fuel tech will tell me all The fuel that. tech will tell you everything you need to know. So much data. Fuel tech is smart. Fuel tech is wise. All this, all this deal? Scraper and go. Yep. Then we'll make some templates and plug them holes. This yep. hole and that hole. Uh, probably this hole. I don't even really know. I think that's all old nitro stuff that can come out. I mean, there's a whole maximum of five still sitting in there. That's the okay. body. Okay, we need this though. Don't do anything with this. Probably don't need that. 
but we'll weed through all this. Oh, doesn't really seem like it goes to anything, does it? Yeah. Do you even have a front end on this car? Well, we need the other one is what we need. Hopefully it's still on the front end. Oh, surely then. This one just came off because the other one came off. The other one will have the headlights on it, and that's basically what we need. Oh, yeah, you're gonna need this but purple. We need you're gonna need this purple wire though. The purple Shh. wire goes to the starter. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep. There's your two starter wires. Your power to the inside of the car, and your starter. And then it will also. Uh, this one probably goes to the alternator. Uh, and then it probably one of those goes over this can get out of here uh, Goes over and heats up the fuse box This one. It's, real, real it's pretty soft isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like, like An like arm with no bone oh, in it don't. Uh, I think Sean just goes around filling arms with no bones in it. I did at PRI <laughs> Oh, I met that drag racer that didn't have no arms. You know, the armless cool archer. Dude, man. Like, like he said, man, let me get back here and put my arm around you. And I was like, come on, man. He was like, shake my hand. And I was like, come on, man, you don't have a hand. And he was like, shake it. And it was really weird. There was no bone in it. It was like a, a he, he weird, drive weird looking boob. That's what it felt like. It's, it's like a five finger boob. Man, he, he drives uh, his own race car though, dude. It was really impressive. Like. It, he's called the armless archer. Look him up. It's pretty impressive what all he accomplishes. Well, he, yeah. reaches, he shifts with his foot, right? He does everything with his foot. Oh, That's what I was about to he, say. With his foot, yeah. he turns on all of his switches and everything up there. Like, I remember watching videos. His toes he, he, are just... Yeah. He had a video the other day of hooking his project lines up with his feet. Holy yeah. shit. That's some strong ass toes. Yeah. 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 Well, he said he's been 480s. Something like that, yeah. And he said that he, they won't let him go any faster because he doesn't have a... A, a, a Nomex sock. sock. A Nomex sock. And I was like... You so nobody at happen. PRI? You can't make yeah. that fucking happen, man. And he said that nobody will make him one. It's really weird. I feel like if that's all that's stopping him from going yeah. faster. Yeah. He showed me how he got in the car, how he pulled the parachute, how he did. He does everything. It was pretty cool. Just doesn't have mm -hmm. a sock. Doesn't change the fact that it was weird when I shook his hand. <laughs> I told him to, don't, don't, man, don't. Don't, just don't. <laughs> You know, and he was like, Look, man, man, I'm gonna make this weird. Oh, come on, man, let's do it. Because as soon as I saw him, I went, Oh, man, I gotta ask. Mm. Born nice. this way. He said he came up to Mike Murillo one time and said, Hey, man, what's it gonna take for me to get my hands on one of those signatures? <laughs> <laughs> and he said that Mike was all correct about it and shit. And I was like, I promise you, he wasn't later. No. <laughs> no. Mike is funny. Always been funny. Yeah. I wish, he'd, I wish he'd grow the mustache back. Oh, uh, he should. Yes. It was the greatest thing ever. Yes. What's that say? Fuel. Goes on. Fuel? Oh, on the right regulator. there on the regulator. Does it have one? Oh, yep. it does. Ready. This thing is ready. Oh, Somebody no. has set you up, Aiden, for success. All you gotta do is. Literally, it's do just it. a, It's like a Lego set. Yep. You just put that shit together. Follow Inter instructions. Intermediate Lego All you gotta set. do is read these instructions. Okay, we're gonna get out of here so that you can get to work. Starter. I'm going in the house. It's Sunday. I've already been out here way too long today. Yep. I remember I said I wasn't doing nothing today. Yep. And then he mm -hmm. called me. And I've been out here for six hours and I haven't put the struts back on the. That's pretty door. impressive. I know. I figured I'd come back no, to I my want, house I and they would to be on there. Really bad. Yeah. And then Jake showed up and then Monkey showed up and I was like, man, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I'll do it first thing in the morning. I say first thing in the morning. I've slept in. It's unbelievable how lazy I am. It's this time of year, man. I hate it. It is. I absolutely hate this time of year. I till like 11 o'clock on Saturday. Holy shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I went to bed about 2, but I go to bed at 2 every night. Yeah. And I still usually get up about 7 There's or 8. There's a lot of, lot of shopping to do it. All I know is Aaron said, it's 11. And I said, huh? <laughs> and then today she said, it's 10, something like that. Yeah. So I slept till 10 today. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just... I just don't like this time of year. I was that's... laying around and she goes, Phantom and Mallory are here. And I went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll get up. Uh, I was going to do my tires if you didn't show up by the time I was done. I was going to roll. Get, you can get this out of here. And then we'll put this you on. Get it. some new tires? Yeah. For your 6'4? Uh huh. What'd you get? Some 35 12 Monkey, you'd be proud. I put, we put the tires on Aaron's. I K5. I've seen some pictures. And I balanced them. Did you use the hammer on weights? You find I did. It? Nice. I did. Hey, and I got them all to zero. Yep. Did 
damn right. I know. It's a good ass tire though. Like it helps whenever you have a really good tire the, to the, balance. The wheel was not. No, one of the wheels like, was the pretty. The wheel, I, I really needed to take a wire brush to all the way around because it's, but yeah, man, yeah, no, they balanced out pretty good. One of them only took what? 0.25. Point, point 0.25 or something. And at that point, yeah. I just kind of, it don't need nothing. Yeah. I, I mean, even. Made, I think it's 0 0.50. Maybe. Like a Desert Eagle. Even my big tires. Like okay, mine says a... .50. <laughs> See how yours says <laughs> yours toy. Says, yours says replica. <laughs> replica, yeah. God, I love that movie. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> You're yes. natural, aren't you, Tyro? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it, was, it was good, though. You did, uh, what else did you do? Was it just the K5? Tried the top, though. Oh, shit. Try to balance the Tahoe? No, I did the I did the Tahoe one, it. and it broke the tire. They were weather cracked real bad, and all that, so I quit. Oh, yeah, it was the '55 actually. monkey showed you how to do the '55, then you did the Blazer. Yeah. I still haven't cleaned off all that glue on, on that wheel. Yep. Okay. All right. That's it. Good day, guys. We got some Chinese to go eat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.